my dear children today champaka is all set to take you on a virtual tour to the zoo all of you have learnt about animals their features their food habits now it's time to get to see them Every year we used to visit the zoo to see our animal friends but this year we were unable to do so because of the pandemic but let us not miss out on any of that fun get ready for a virtual tour to the zoo grab your backpack wear your hat and get set to visit the zoo zip zap zoom Zap zoom we are at the zoo so thrilled to see the animal friends but before that we need to go to the ticket counter wait patiently for our turn wait in a queue and take the ticket okay ready come let's take the ticket I'm waiting at the queue. I'm so thrilled and excited and eagerly waiting for my turn to get my ticket. It's a long queue, but still it's fine. I'll be patiently waiting for the tickets. Irpi, our tickets are ready. Come into the zoo with me. The first animal we get to see is the Indian bison. Just watch and see how huge and massive it looks. And it has a ridge running along its back. And don't miss the hump. The next enclosure is the lion-tailed macaque and it has got a mane like that of a lion and watch out for its tail it's got a tassel at the end like that of a lion and that is why it's named lion-tailed macaque such a beautiful place where the ambience is superb the animals are kept in such large enclosures and they feel so fine and as though they are living in their own surroundings and the way they protect and keep the animals the food is not to be given by us the visitors should not tease them they are being kept so beautifully here
have a look at this Risa's Mecca. It is very interesting because the name itself suggests that its blood has got Risa's antigen and that is where it bears a resemblance to us, the human beings. Have a look at how comfortable it looks in such beautiful enclosure. Here, in this enclosure, we have the Malabar giant squirrel and see how bushy its tail is and how fast it runs and it has got company, it has got a white peacock along with it in the same enclosure. How beautiful it looks, the giant squirrel up and the white peacock grazing down. Now, let us go into the enclosure for birds. Get ready to fly with gay abandon, with cry-free attitude and enjoy the beautiful birds. Kids, we are going to see a very interesting bird now. It is a nocturnal bird. It has very good binocular vision. It has binocular hearing and it can turn its heads 270 degrees. Guess the bird. Yes, you guessed it right. I am the owl. Now we are going to see different types of pheasants. Pheasants are birds which do not migrate. Pheasants have different, different species. Most interesting is male pheasant and female pheasants look entirely different. Come, let us have a look at the pheasants now. Silver pheasant. Silver pheasants belong to the species of pheasants. Male and the female are entirely different. The color of the male is black and white. The females will be brown in color. Ring-necked pheasant. Ring-necked pheasants are pheasants which can stay on the roost for several days without eating. That is amazing, isn't it? And when it is the breeding season, the male will protect the females without letting anyone else come near it. So this is the ring-necked pheasant. It can survive for a long time without water and food. Dear little ones, did you notice the feathers of these pheasants? It looks so remarkably beautiful and they are priceless because of these feathers. Now we are heading to a section where you can see vultures, stork, pelicans and herons. And when you look at a vulture, what do you notice first? Its head. Its head is bald. It does not have any feathers in the head. And it has got a very strong beak.
when you look at a pelican, what do you notice about it? A large pouch it has through which it will strain away all the water and then can swallow its food. It is largely a water animal pelican. Storks are large birds with a long neck and a long beak and it is a wading bird. Herons are small, medium-sized birds. Swans are mesmerizingly beautiful birds. It can swim and fly with incredible speed. It can even sleep while it is in water or in land. Now let us move on and meet some more of our animal friends who are eagerly waiting to see us. Get ready to be otterly entertained. Now we are moving on to otters. There are two types of otters, sea otter and river water otters. Though they look cuddly and cute, they are highly dangerous. So never ever go near to an otter. And otters love to swim in groups. When they are in groups, they are called the rafts. Why? Because they look like rafts. So see, let us have a look at the otters and get utterly entertained. Have you seen a crocodile? Come, have a look at the crocodile. See how beautiful it looks. It's thick skin and see the way it is swimming and wading. See the way it is floating in the water and the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. I'm sure all of you know that. When a crocodile closes its mouth, its teeth can still be seen. When an alligator shuts its mouth, its teeth cannot be seen. We have a star tortoise here. Star tortoise is mainly solitary. It does not like to form in groups. It likes to be alone. And it doesn't want to swim in water. So always we have to make sure that the bowels is not very deep. It can just survive only in shallow water. So that is the peculiarity of this star tortoise. That is the reason we cannot keep it at home. I feel a little bit thirsty. I'm hungry too. Can we stop for a while? Let us invite our animal friends and have a picnic in the zoo. Wow, that would be fun, isn't it? Come, let us sit down for a picnic with our zoo friends. After the picnic, we can all have a look at the rest of the zoo animals. Hi friends, hope you're enjoying our zoo. See, I have bought something for you. Bananas. It's a bright day and we are so happy to see you all. We have brought you something too. You know what? Watermelons.
Hello, dears. I've been waiting to see you. I have something for you too. It's tasty. Mangoes. Yummy mangoes. Whoa! Picnic with my dear tiny tot. I have something so tasty for you. See what it is. Pineapples. Aren't you all thirsty? You all should drink water. I'm so happy to see you all. If you need anything, please ask me. I will fly and bring it to you. After having food, we all should plan something, right? How about we all dance, dears? Now we are going to the section where we have leopards, cheetahs, lion and tiger. How do you differentiate between a leopard, a cheetah and a tiger? A leopard has rosettes on their skin. A cheetah has spots. The cheetah is the fastest land animal. and tiger has bold stripes running across its body. Can you hear the roar of a lion? Yeah, I can hear it roar now. We can hear the roar of a lion from 8 kilometers away and that is Limba the lion calling out to us, inviting us to come and visit him. Lion is the king of the forest. Do you know that lions can sleep about 20 hours a day? And don't forget to watch its mane. Now let us go and see an animal that actually laugh. Which is that animal? Yes, you guessed right, it is the hyena. Hyenas can laugh and it is actually a form of communication that shows their resentment, anger or anxiety. They are also carnivorous animals like the leopard, tiger and the lion. Bears are extraordinarily intelligent. Their sense of smell and hearing is also excellent. They look so huge, look extremely cuddly and feel so huggable. But never try to hug a bear because that can become dangerous. They are quite dangerous so stay away from them. Children, can you tell me what is this animal that you are seeing? I can't hear you. Please say a little more louder. Oh yes, you got it right. Yes, it is the deer. Do a deer, a female deer. The song you may be familiar with. Have you noticed the eyes of the deer? It is on the sides of the face. So it has a 310 degree vision. Deer are found in every region except Australia and Antarctica. There are different types of deer and just see how beautiful and relaxing and soothing a vision it is to watch the deers.
kids see these group of new world parrots that are long-tailed and very colorful. They are known as the macaws. They are popular as companion parrots and they can talk. Many macaw mimic human speech. I am a large rodent with a coat of sharp spines that protect me. Who am I? Oh yes, I am the porcupine and I can even climb trees. When there is a party in the forest, I always stand near Osti the ostrich. Do you know why? To make sure that Osti the ostrich do not step on anyone while dancing. Dear children, can you tell me which is the second largest bird in the world? Emu, yes. Emu can grow up to 2 meters in height and it has got such soft fluffy feathers and it has two sets of eyelids. You know what the first set of eyelids does? It can be used for blinking. The second eyelid is used to keep away the dust. Isn't it interesting? Come, let's watch the emu. We are now in front of the enclosure of the brown rhea. It is the largest South American bird. It can run very fast, but it cannot fly. Come, let us have a look at the brown rhea and tell me what it resembles. Oh yes, you are right. It resembles the ostrich. Now come, let us go to the next enclosure. Now we have come to the world's largest bird, the flightless ostrich. And do you know, ostriches have three stomachs and they are the fastest runners of any birds. Want to have a running race with the ostrich? Anyone? Now we are about to enter a magical world of the butterflies. Who doesn't enjoy witnessing one of these winged beauties in flight? Their brightly coloured bodies and their effortless motion that seems in sync with some unheard symphony. Butterfly wings are transparent. There are almost 20,000 butterfly species. And butterflies use their feet to taste. Butterflies are an insect each of us can appreciate. Friends, hope you all had nice time visiting us. All our zoo friends were happy to see you. See you all again soon. We have come to the end of our virtual tour. It's time to say goodbye to our animal friends. Thank you to our animal friends and thank you my dear little ones. It was truly wonderful to spend time with each other. Till we meet again, take care, stay safe. Bye.